the 2K Sports pregame show. Welcome to 2K Sports, sitting alongside the big diesel, Shaquille O'Neal, and the prop plane, Kenny Smith. Tonight we'll see the Oklahoma City Thunder playing against the Sacramento Kings. Looking at the Kings, this is a big game coming up for them. They've dropped their first two games, and the last thing they want to do is open the season 0-3. That is not the way to tip things off. And Oklahoma City, last season, they signed Westbrook to an extension, bring in George and Mello. Shaq, they really went for it. Yeah, the trades helped convince Westbrook to sign that beautiful deal of 200-plus mazillion. Franchise show, Westbrook, we are committed to winning, buddy. Yes. They took a risk. And George only had one year left on his contract. And the deal to make it out of the West, sometimes you have to take those risks. And that'll wrap it up as we take you courtside. Thank you so much for joining us. I can't possibly tell you how much it means. A view of I-40 in Chesapeake Energy Arena, taken from the Skydance Bridge in Oklahoma City. That's our setting tonight. Hello and thanks for joining us, 2K Sports fans, for another exciting presentation of NBA Basketball. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Brent Ferry and Greg Anthony. We've got David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. So for the Thunder, their last game, a win against the Clippers in Los Angeles. And they put it all together in that game. It added up to a phenomenal win. And when you shoot a high percentage from distance, that gives you momentum and, and really keeps the opponent on the road. Well, accurate outside shooting when you're on the road, you find that kind of rhythm. It's hard to do. They made it look easy. And we've got time for a quick pregame report. With that being said, let's head to the sideline in our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge, D.A. Well, guys, we know Russell Westbrook is a fearsome competitor, but he says you never know how long you'll be able to run like this or jump like this, so I go for it every time. I may look angry, but it's the only way I know. Yes, you look angry. Kevin? Yeah, he's special, D.A., absolutely. Thanks. Already, Brent, we've seen a changing of the guard of some teams where a new player is now the number one option. Well, I expected that this year we were going to have some of this take place. A lot of the reason why I would point to it is that you had nine new coaches in the NBA this year. So there's going to be opportunity on some of those teams for somebody to take advantage of a new offense, uh, a new way to, to play, a new way to get up and down the floor. And with that opportunity, some guys are taking full advantage I of it. I love the new opportunities, though, for some players that may have been pushed to the side of it. Yeah, no doubt about it. And I like the opportunity maybe for some of these teams to start changing some of the older guard with their squad, maybe come trade deadline. I think this year there's, there's going to be a lot of movement come February because of those coaching changes. Let's take a look at our starters for Sacramento. Jackson and Bagley hold down the forward spots. Fox is at the point with Heald next to him at the two. And it's Cauley Stein in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And so it's the Kings getting on the board first. Screened by Adams. Grant dishes to George over Jackson. George passes to Grant. And the call will be against Marvin Bagley. That's his first foul. Uh, kind of a ticky-tack foul there, but you have to be aware that's how the refs are going to blow the whistle tonight. George, that's a two-pointer, and it comes off the front of the rim. Here's Sacramento now. Healed outside. Bagley sets a screen for Heal. Outside Jackson. Six to shoot. Cauley Stein kicks to Heald. Shoots over Grant. Heald can't hit. So for Sacramento, their last game, a loss to the Pelicans in New Orleans. And the dunk by Grant. Trust me, defense wants to keep Grant out of the paint, and he wants to get in there. That's why. Here's Fox. 32 points for him last game against New Orleans. And also in that one, he had the opposition on pins and needles on the defensive end of the floor, recording four steals that night on his way to an overall stellar game. 
And George with the stuff. This guy's got some of the best hands in the league. Paul George instincts right there. Pokes that ball away. Now here's Heald. He's guarded close. Jackson kicks to Cauley Stein. Three-pointer, Heald. That one's in his first bucket of the game. He's one for two. Wow, Heald has a beautiful release on his shot right there, just barely off of his fingertips and buttery soft. Here's Westbrook, and it's Sacramento with the rebound. And going against Oklahoma City, their first meeting of the year. Yeah, and these teams pretty familiar with one another. They'll face off four times this year. We'll get a great idea tonight of exactly how they match up in terms of strengths versus weaknesses. When it comes down to a four-game season series. This first one is always a good indicator of what's to come. Oklahoma City trailer. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. No good from Grant. Well, it's like the defense has a bunch of matchbooks in their hands right now, playing with fire. They were fortunate that somehow he misfired on that one. Yeah, instinctively, too. Fox there looking to be a ball mover, a facilitator. And that's one reason why his team is playing well. Now, here's Westbrook. Really played well against the Clippers in his last outing. Really well done there. Just confident and composed, never in a hurry. Fox passes to Begley. Coley Stein a screen. Deflects the pass. Stolen by Grant. Outside, George fires the three. Bagley with the rebound. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Pass to Heald. Back to Fox. There's the pick to the middle. Here's Cauley Stein, and Grant sends it back. A skilled shot blocker, Grant coming over and is so quick off the floor, swats that one out. It's stolen by Heel. Kicks it to Fox, inside, and Cauley Stein throws it down. And guys got careless with the ball there, and the turnover leads to the big stuff. Once he came up right with the steal, he went straight on the attack. A terrific anticipation using the hands. How are you not protecting the basketball in that situation? He used that pick to get in close. Adams has got his first two points. Well, great efficiency on the inside from Steven Adams. Rarely does he take a bad shot. Steven Adams, the, the kind of guy who on a nightly basis is so appreciated by the star players on the team and certainly the coaching staff just doing dirty work, setting screens, scoring on the inside, being a physical presence. And he's taken some strides, I think, Kevin, offensively, being able to score sometimes out of the box. Timeout is called. First of the game for Sacramento. And you look at Adams' per-minute scoring averages, Brent. They've gone up every season. Well, it's got to help having Russell Westbrook setting the table and the type of attention that not only Westbrook drew, but also PG and Carmelo Anthony for a season. So uh, obvious uptick in the offensive numbers for Steven Adams, but he is improving, and you see some confidence in the offensive end of the floor. Now here's Heald. He's coming off a 22-point game against the Pelicans in New Orleans. Well, I think he was especially impressive on the glass. The defense had no idea what to do with him. Here's Westbrook following the basket by Buddy Heal. Westbrook and the rejection by Cauley Stein. Cauley Stein in great position to reject that shot. Fox against Westbrook. Fox, no good. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. And here's Westbrook. Screen by Adams. Excellent use of the screen that time. Westbrook's got his second bucket of the night. And another momentum shift. These teams going back and forth all night. Yeah, which team's going to find some consistency first? Neither one can pull away. Now here's Heald. He's got five. Holly Stein dishes to heal. Let's it go from 11. 
and that one hits back iron. Uh, the defense, not, not so good. And when you're deep inside like that, you, you got to come through. And there's never been any question about George's three-point range. He just goes through stretches where he knocks down the three at a ridiculous rate. Westbrook against Fox. Passes to Cauley Stein. Knocks it loose. Healed. Kicks to Fox. Four on the clock. Jackson a screen on Westbrook. Again, the miss by the King. The Thunder leading by four. George, that's a two-pointer. The rebound by Heal. Kings have gone just a shade under 50% from the field. Five of 11. Here's Luol. 11 points for him in that last game against the Clippers in Los Angeles. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. The big changes in defensive rules happen right in the middle of your playing days. How did people initially react to those? Well, a lot of guys had three quick fouls, Kevin. Because yes, they they're, they're out hand-checking and pushing guys around. And they say, what do you mean I can't do this anymore? I get paid to push guys around. Uh, but after a little while, uh, obviously, guys stepping off and understanding positions on the floor where you could get away with more physical play than you can out in front with point guards, obviously, and having refs' eyes on them or down on the block. And the first one drops. And a new group in here for the Thunder. Merlin's Noel checks in for Steven Adams. Patterson comes in for Jeremy Grant. Raymond Felton, he's checked in for George. And Dennis Schroeder subbed in for Russell Westbrook. And then for Sacramento. Kufus checked in for Cauley Stein. Randolph comes in for Bagley. And Bialica in for Jackson. Good on both. The Thunder, one of the lowest rates of assists in the league last year. Also, uh, a team that does not move the ball around all that much to gain some advantage with strong side, weak side movement. So we'll see isolation. We'll see pick and roll and, and very few passes in a contest like this. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. And the Thunder had great talent, but their offense hasn't allowed all their players, Brent, to flourish at the same time. Why is that? Well, it's just a team that doesn't have a, a commitment to a flow style of offense. They, they have such great talent that I think the talent tries to take on the load sooner in offensive possessions than maybe the coaching staff would like. And, and they have great individual scores. That's what these guys have done in the league for a very long time. Now, here's Fox. Looking for his first basket still in this one. You need more of this from Patterson. Such a big frame inside. I like to see it when he's swatting it away. Felton against Teald. Felton the pass to Schroeder. Here's Patterson. And again, no good by Oklahoma City. The Kings trail by six. Heald kicks to Fox. And Luau Cabrero is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. Sacramento with the ball. And Fox has it in the corner. Yeah, and what a terrible way to start the game. Five turnovers already. And that one's good. Schroeder. He's such a strong offensive player. Schroeder is capable of knocking down some mid-range shots if you give him some room. Here's Fox after the made shot from Dennis Schroeder. Randolph sets a screen for Fox. Healed the pass to Randolph. Five on the clock. Here's Fox. And there it is for him. Fox has got his first two points of the night. Well, trying to figure out ways to score through contact, De'Aaron Fox does not back down. Felton kicks to Patterson. Out to the right wing. To the inside. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the way up. Patterson's got his first points of the game. The Kings trail by eight. Now Fox. Randolph a screen. There's the screen. Here's Heald. 
And he wills that one in, sinking right through off the back iron. And this quarter has been all about him. You feel every shot he's going to take is going in. Felton the pass to Noel. Back to Felton. Fires from deep. Second chance shot. And Patterson kicks to Felton. Patterson, the screen. And it's good. He planted his feet on the pick and shield the defender off. I give some credit to the screen out there. That totally freed up the shooter to take advantage of that look. Pass to Randolph. Back to Fox. Picked by Randolph. Takes a three. And Fox gets it to go. Fox has got five now. Well, difficult to stay with and elusive. I guess you could say that Fox is sly. Felton the pass to Noel. In the corner, it's Patterson. Fox against Schroeder. Back to Patterson. Shoots the three. Trains the three-pointer. Patterson's got his second bucket tonight. Well, Patterson being a little more assertive in the offense here tonight. Ready to shoot that time off the direct pass. And Luau Cabarro is going to pick up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. George has checked in for Oklahoma City. And Bialitz kicks to Kufus. Sacramento moving it around. Down to five on the shot clock. Goes up to the stripe. And again, it's Sacramento converting. Billy Donovan has faced a tough job in Oklahoma City, Brent. Star players leaving town. Some even criticizing him after they left. Uh, the circumstances of Billy Donovan moving off of what he did at the University of Florida and making that a powerhouse Division I basketball program. It's been very interesting to have Russell Westbrook and Kevin Durant to begin your career and then pushing that team to almost beating the Golden State Warriors, losing in a Game 7 to losing Kevin Durant. Billy Donovan's seen a lot in the early part of his career. Uh, the hopes is that he continues to grow and learn. Really happy with the hire of Billy Donovan and what he brings to the table in terms of his basketball acumen. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. Here's George. Sacramento grabs the miss. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. Fox, no good. Back to Schroeder. That ball's nice feed that time from George. The floater is such a deceptive and unguardable shot. You can understand why Schroeder elects to go with it there. Sweet looking on the dip. And so it's the Oklahoma City Thunder holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. A terrific tempo and a great pace. The fast break has been a central part of their offense. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Russell Westbrook is surly disposition on the court, but he talks about the power of positivity with his teammates. Throughout the years, I've been trying to find ways to be a better leader. Uh, leadership was a huge thing, and um, I felt the way I reacted to certain plays and my facial expressions um, and my demeanor can change a lot for a teammate. Well, you can't win it alone. And for superstar players like Westbrook, individual greatness isn't enough. It's about elevating the team around them. And now the second quarter just getting set to start. What stands out to you from Oklahoma City in this one? Through that first one, uh, they've turned this thing into a track beat. Love the pace they're playing with. Anytime you can get your offense going without the defense setting up, you've got a huge advantage. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. So the Thunder Five right now. 
At small forward and power forward, it's George and Patterson. Dennis Schroeder is out there with Felton, and it's Noel in at the five. Patterson a screen on Fox. Here's Schroeder. That one wide left. The right thing there to stay that tight on him and, and really try to keep him out of his comfort zone. Heel dishes to Fox. Heald sets the pick for Fox. Back to Heald. Good, and a nice assist from Fox. Fox has got his fifth assist in this one. More and more improved floor awareness for De'Aaron Fox. Here's George. It's good. At that basket, he's now five for nine. His shooting has been outstanding here. <laughs> Definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. Fox against Schroeder. Fox passes to Kufus. Healed from outside. The rebound by Patterson. Patterson's got his third rebound tonight. Felton against Healed. In the corner, George with it. The fader. No good there. So the Kings will take it the other way. There's the pass to Fox. On the wing, Heal. Labissier with the screen for Heal. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's on Dennis Schroeder. Quietly, Buddy Heal has had some good moments in the NBA thus far. I know coming in, a lot of attention is a high draft choice, but his offensive game and the players around him, as they get better, are helping Buddy Heal out. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. Free throw drops for Heal. We've heard Coach Steve Kerr say the power forward position as we knew it is disappearing. Uh, you could say that maybe about the center position too. I, I don't want to say that about the center position. What I want to tell you, Kevin, and in my humble opinion, is that the center position has changed. It's evolved. So, yeah, I don't want to say that it's just disappeared because right. there are players out there that are, are playing that position and doing a lot of the things that you would qualify as center-centric, screening, going down to the block, rim running to the post, being an option down low. But it's it's definitely changed. But now we're seeing him go out and defend smaller guys in the perimeter, taking threes, and that's what's weird for your eyes to just kind of absorb what's going on. Well, it's weird to absorb not only that and what those players individually are asked to do, but when you're at a game and you're sitting in the stands and all of a sudden you see five guys that are outside the three-point line. I mean, go back to the game in the 80s. It's the exact opposite. It was like, you know, a bunch of ants on top of a lost candy bar sitting in the lane, gnawing at one another. Right, right. It's just changed. So the center position, not disappeared, just changed. And he was one of many big names in free agency this past summer. Paul George, a huge part of that. But, you know, Greg, he didn't take long to make his decision. Many expected George to maybe jump to the Lakers had been saying it was his dream to play in L.A. for over a year. But credit Westbrook and the Thunder. They, they won him over. He was one of the first signings in free agency to re-up with OKC. That free throw good from George. You wonder if Paul George finally has a situation here where he could show why he's an elite player, why he's an all-star, but to pay off how hungry he is to prove it with a late postseason run. Bagley, he's checked in for the Kings. And George drops them both. Well, PG played his first seven seasons in Indiana with the Pacers and guided them to two time Eastern out, Conference out. Finals appearances. And that playoff PG moniker that he came up with, it holds true if you look at the numbers. And when the Pacers were about to rebuild, I think Paul George let them know that he was willing to move on to continue his career somewhere else. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. A lot of fans in Indiana upset with Paul George for deciding to leave. Do they have a point, Brent, or is that unfair? I think it's a little unfair, Kevin. The seven great years from Paul George obviously had to recover from the leg injury and came back strong. But 
PG wanting to go somewhere where he could win a title. And uh, that's a decision that every player has to make. PG thought somewhere else he might have that opportunity and, and maybe more chances to do so. Grant sets a screen for Westbrook. With some arc, and that's two points on the layup. Westbrook's got his third bucket of the night. Well, the inside game of Westbrook, very impressive. Plays a lot bigger than his frame. Schroeder against Jackson. Here's Cauley Stein. Up again. It's good on the putback. Labissiere's got his first two points of the night. Oh, how about the deft touch right there, guys? He just guided that ball back up and in. Just a fingertip touch on the ball. Schroeder against Jackson. Screened by Adams. And it's George missing. And that was an easy one there. Just a missed opportunity. Yeah, sometimes everything can go right, but the shot doesn't go down. Nothing there is automatic. Three-pointer healed. That one falls through. It's his sixth make from the floor this game. Now six for ten. That's got to feel good for the young player. Buddy Heald showing a full arsenal tonight offensively. Adams outside. Back to George. Adams with the screen on heel. Westbrook drives in. Terrific design on the pick play, and he lays it in. Westbrook's got eight points. Well, we talk about Westbrook and the athleticism he has, but sometimes tactically he approaches those pick and rolls quite well. This year, kicks to Jackson. Coley Stein, a screen. Has to heal. Fires the three. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. It's stolen by Heal. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sidelines. Well, the Kings signed some quality vets last season, but when the losses piled up, they decided to go young. Now, the focus is on development. The veterans still have a role, providing steadying presence on the court and in the locker room. Kevin? David, it certainly is a balancing act. Thanks for that report. Screen by Adams. Grant, that's good. Grant's got his second basket of the night. Yeah, Grant not flustered with that. Staying with it around the basket. Ignores the defense and scores. Jackson passes to Cauley Stein. Back to Jackson. Shoots over Schroeder. Jackson misses. And that's really a function of the offense not working as it should. Yeah, maybe lazy play calling or just going through the motions on that possession. This often leads to a bad shot. The Kings trail by 10. And out of bounds as the Thunder gain possession. And where have the shots been coming from tonight? Here's a look broken down by paint, mid-range, and three-point shot attempt so far for Oklahoma City. And the three-point shot above the break has become a popular shot in the league, but not for them tonight. They're passing that one up and just trying to get their offense from closer to the hoop. Westbrook kicks it over to Schroeder. No good from outside. Man, that's a clean shot, too. You got to sink those. He must be disappointed that he blew that chance. And Jeremy Grant picks up the foul. That's his first foul. And the Thunder making a switch here. Luau is checked in and a change for Sacramento. Zach Randolph is checked in for Scal LaBissier. Stolen by George. And now it's Westbrook running. He can go all oh, no. oh, yeah. over. I mean, it is really like he's jumping off of a trampoline out there. Westbrook can do anything he wants when he gets up like that. That instant replay brought to you by Under Armour Hover Havoc, giving us a chance to relive the unleashing of chaos that time. Tipped away. And that's out of bounds. Sacramento will retain possession. And here's a look at some stats for Westbrook. Coming off a terrific season. First in assists. Fifth in steals. 
And of course, he was among the best in the league when it came to putting the ball in the basket. Top 10 in scoring. And dropping a lot of dimes. He led the league in assists because he's the ultimate competitor, an absolute magician with the basketball. Well, a triple-double machine. And what we're trying to get out of Russell Westbrook as he moves on is understanding he can adjust his game to the teammates around him. Well, you, you think back to a time when people wondered if Westbrook was too aggressive playing with KD. They said Russ was taking too many shots. No questions anymore. Westbrook is the man in OKC. Free throw good, Westbrook. And for Westbrook, winning the MVP and averaging a triple-double for an entire season, Greg, how much does he have left to prove? Well, it's all about winning. We know Russ can take over a game. We know he can make his teammates better. How much better and how far they get in the playoffs, that's the real question. Both free throws good from Westbrook. As we've gotten closer to halftime, their style has become more and more physical. Randolph, a screen on Westbrook. And Jeremy Grant picks up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Here's Jackson. And misses it off the right side of the rim. And you know what? You can't get a better screen. Frees him up beautifully, but he just fails to capitalize. Oh, man, he'd love to have that one back. He just does everything right, but doesn't get the finish. The Kings trail by 14. Bagley kicks to Heald. Bagley the pass to Jackson. To the inside. Sacramento moving it around. Puts up a three. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Luau, who's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Nice jump shot from the top of the key. And the Thunder lead by 16. I don't think the timing could have been any better as Russell Westbrook does a great job of taking advantage of the defense. Got a piece of it. Here's Luau. It's deflected, and he gets it back. Westbrook kicks to Grant. Over to the left wing. Overhealed. And the shot no good. A bit short. And right now, I, I think just his demeanor is hurting the team. His shooting's been off, and he knows it. Passes it to Cauley Stein. And it's Bagley in the corner. Healed outside. Six to shoot. Jackson a screen on Westbrook. And pushing it up here. Here is Oklahoma City. I mean, can you imagine three knee surgeries and then pulling off something like that? Westbrook, athleticism personified. Outside Jackson, it's Cauley Stein, top of the key. He dishes it to heel. Six on the shot clock. Bagley sets a screen for heel. Their offense, Stone Cold. Another miss there. For the three. Rebounded by Jackson. And still looking for his shot. Somehow they're winning, but they'd like to get him going. He kicks it to heel. Randolph a screen. Falls back and drains the fadeaway jumper. Randolph's got his first two points. Always has had such a nice, soft, deft touch. Randolph feels like he can score at will right now. Right on the bucket, 16 points for Russell Westbrook. Well, the O looks unstoppable tonight, especially because of that guy. He's just torching them. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Here's Randolph. Score the basket, his second of two attempts. Well, embrace the contact while you're shooting. Tough to do, but not for Zach Randolph, time given out, his experience. Out. And first time out of the game called for Oklahoma City. 
And the Kings not just rebuilding the roster, Brett, but also the franchise's reputation. Well, agents and executives in the past year have been a little frustrated with the fickle leadership coming from the Sacramento Kings. And, you know, eventually those perceptions matter. A different look for Oklahoma City. Noel's checked in for Steven Adams. Patterson comes in for Grant. That's Felton in for George. And then for Sacramento. Kufus checked in for Willie Cauley-Stein. Biel Itza comes in for Bagley. And it's Fox in for Heal. Yeah, just misjudged the layup. Defense has to be better. Very fortunate there. But they recover it. Fox kicks to Randolph. Biel Itza passes to Randolph. Now Jackson. No good with the triple. Look, if they want any shot at winning this game, he has to be better out there. They push it up four on three. Fox against Westbrook. Fox dishes to Randolph. Luwawu, and that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Luwawu's got seven points. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Randolph sets a screen for Fox. Outside, Randolph. Fox against Westbrook. Shot clock at six. Now, here's Fox. Guarded closely. And they pick up two. Here's Westbrook. 16 points for him. Outside, Felton. Out to the right wing. Luwawu Cabrero kicks to Westbrook. And the Thunder, another three. And started hot, and he's only gotten hotter. Now, here's Fox. He's got 11. Outside, Randolph. Over Patterson. Great D on that shot, and it's off the mark. Russell Westbrook has been leading the charge for Oklahoma City. Scoring, rebounding, he was all over the place during that quarter. They are writing his performance right now. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Here with Coach Dave Yeager. Coach, what is going to be the focus offensively going into the second half? Well, we try to go inside. You know, that's our strength anyways. And for us, you know, our bread is buttered inside. So we try to play high low. And then if the threes come out of that, great. But we want to try to get everything to the rim. Coach, it all starts with that entry pass to the big, and then everybody plays off of him. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, David, and we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Boy, a lot of energy in this arena tonight. The, the hometown fans getting after it. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaquille O'Neal's here. So is Kenny the Jet Smith. Oklahoma City has the edge here at halftime. They are in blowout territory, leading by 20. Kenny, some perspective, please. Well, the bench came in and helped them run away with this one. Tremendous job of getting loose, getting open, and drilling shots. You always want that spark off the bench, and these guys delivered. Shaq, how do you think Sacramento played? Well, they were playing like it was Christmas, Ernie. Giving up a lot of turnovers. There's no excuses for the turnover numbers, sloppy ball handling. They look out of control, and the execution was all over the place. And now with the second half about to get underway, let's send you back courtside. See you, everybody, with Kevin Harlan. Third quarter just about to get going here in what has been so far a runaway game. Well, you look at Russell Westbrook in this game. He has been everywhere. Yeah, the rebounding, particularly on the offensive side, as good as it gets, he was bringing the effort 
down low. Yeah, those extra possessions, considering how hard it can be sometimes to find offense, become invaluable. We begin our second half. So far, not a tightly contested game, guys, but, you know, anything can happen. Getting underway here in the second half. Here's the five for Dave Yeager. Down low, it's Bagley and Cauley Stein. Fox is at the point with Heald next to him at the two. And it's Jackson in at the small forward. You could classify Adams' post game as raw, but the energy and aggression he plays with almost every game, that's where he hangs his hat. They set the pick. Bagley sets a screen for Fox. Now here's Heald. Defense is right there, and the basket is good. Yeah, for guards who are young players in the NBA, finishing around the rim is always a focus at this level. Nice job by Heald there. Westbrook, and that one clearly a foul, gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. You know, every night that I get a chance to, to be called to do a broadcast and sit here courtside, I appreciate it so much to be able to watch Russell Westbrook this close. The combination of his motor and incredible talent. It's just, it's an all-time sort of run he's on, and great to watch it. Shooting two. The free throw drops for Russell Westbrook. Brett, we've heard people say that Russell Westbrook is not a superstar. What are your thoughts on that? How old are these people you're talking to, Kevin? And really, how much basketball have they watched? Russell Westbrook is the elite of the elite. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And for Sacramento, they're shooting 48% from the field. Not bad at all. Fox passes to Begley. Back to Fox. Holly Stein in the post. Adams on him. And there's the foul. That's on Steven Adams. That is his first foul of the game. On defense, the Thunder. A pass to Fox. Cauley Stein with a screen on Westbrook. Lock at six. And Fox gets it to go. Fox has got 13. The closer that Fox gets inside, the more effective he could say. I guess you could say he's good in the Fox hole. And that one's good. Westbrook. And defensively, th this is the opposite of how you want to start the second half. Yeah, it's like four teenagers at home over the summer, just not enough activity. You've gotten your rest. It's time to man up. Bagley, no good. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Luwawu Cabrero kicks to Westbrook. Pulls up. And Oklahoma City again with the bucket. And sharp here to start the half. That's three in a row. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. Fox dishes to Cauley Stein. Heald sets the pick for Cauley Stein. Westbrook against Fox. And the foul called on Russell Westbrook. That is his first foul of the game. So it's Sacramento now. Cauley Stein kicks to Jackson. Jackson a screen on Westbrook. Here's Fox. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. They get Russell Westbrook. The question mark for De'Aaron Fox coming into the league was his jump shot, Brent, and his lone season at Kentucky, 21% from the three-point line. That climbed over 30% as a pro. Well, hopefully he just has progression as a shooter in the league, and, and that'll be a major impact on just how far De'Aaron Fox's career goes, and if maybe one time in the Western Conference... He'll participate in the All-Star game.
The first one falls. Well, the quickness of De'Aaron Fox really is incredible. I got a chance to see John Wall early in his career, and it was the speed that we talked about. But speed can kill. And if De'Aaron Fox can control it, he'll be fantastic at creating opportunities for himself and his teammates. Fox hits them both. The Thunder last season assembling a big three of Russell Westbrook, Paul George, and Carmelo Anthony didn't mesh Brent like they had hoped. In your opinion, what went wrong? Well, a, a bit of a down season in terms of the scoring for Melo, but reasons for that, just not as many opportunities and playing outside along the three-point line. The biggest damage last year was the Robertson injury. I felt like in December, the OKC team started to find its stride and Robertson going out of the lineup, there just wasn't enough of the depth on that roster right, 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 to make right. up the difference for them defensively. And OKC never really seemed to find its its footing or confidence again. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. And they've been very loose with the ball here. They haven't been as patient, forcing things a bit, which has led to turnovers. They need to just slow down and relax. Then the Schroeder's checked in for Luwawu Cabarro. Right around three minutes into the second half. Healed against Schroeder. Healed the pass to Fox. Six on the shot clock. Gauley Stein trying to free himself up. Fox, no good. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And Dennis Schroeder, a.k.a. Dennis the Menace, remember coming over from Germany, has been a great slasher and an attack point guard who likes to get around the rim and challenge some bigger defenders. And with Schroeder, his ability to cut back Brent with the ball is what makes him a great playmaker. Yeah, he plays some games around the screen, and his vision has improved. Being in that system, some predictive passing has helped him along, and he still has some flash and flair to his game. Like to see it when Shoot he plays through. with that kind of confidence. And that one misses. Well, Dennis Schroeder showed he can handle high usage in an offense. Uh, was the first option for the Hawks this past season. Even with defenses keyed in on him, he was able to average right around 20 points. And the second free throw, good. And with Schroeder, he said he learned how to deal with all that extra defensive attention. And being able to stay productive when dealing with the best opposing defender goes a long way in the NBA. Schroeder also managed to cut down on his turnovers while taking on more of a playmaker role. Strong year for him offensively, and I wouldn't be surprised if he continues to grow as a player. Westbrook with the bucket. Westbrook's got 10 points now just in this quarter. This guy is just shredding the defense right now. He's hitting any shots he's putting up. Heald sets the pick for Cauley Stein. Back to Fox. Cauley Stein with a screen on Westbrook. Fox against Westbrook. Fox, no good. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. And it's Schroeder in the corner. Again, Oklahoma City. And what a fantastic start here to the second half. They have yet to miss. Heald kicks to Jackson. To the paint. And there's the pass to Fox. Jackson a screen on Westbrook. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. Talk often about physicality of bigger players. Collie Stein, one of those guys who fits into that category. Right side, Westbrook. Outside, George. Gets a hand on it. Cauley Stein grabs the board. For Sacramento, they've gone an even 50% from the floor here in the third quarter. Four of eight, and it goes out of bounds. That one off heel. Scal Labissiere's checked in for Sacramento. Sacramento. 
The Thunder have gone six of eight on field goal attempts in the third. A 75% clip. Grant the pass to George. And again, no good by Oklahoma City. The Kings shooting 47% from the floor, getting it done. Offensive rebound. Cauley Stein kicks to Heald. Over Westbrook. And it's off the back rim, no good. Oklahoma City's gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Shooter comes with the double team. Out of bounds, Oklahoma City takes possession. With a break in the action, let's show you the teams with the most second-chance points last year. Number one, the Thunder. Yeah, that was a huge factor for them a season ago. Their ability to attack the offensive glass and then convert those into second-chance buckets. I mean, no one did it better. Westbrook passes to George. Good. A nice assist from Westbrook. Westbrook's got four assists now tonight. Well, Paul George has definitely garnered some strength through the years now, and he's Developed that over time in the offseason, being diligent with his work ethic and gets through contact on that play. Cauley Stein. A shot. No good. Adams, some nice D. To the paint. Great pass to set up the lay-in. Adams has got four this quarter. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agendas. Inside, it's stolen by Schroeder. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. And I really love Fox's game. He's got a ton of room to grow, but boy, does he play with intensity. De'Aaron Fox, another hyper-athletic point guard out of Kentucky. Great size at 6'4". He can impact the game at both ends. That one is off. And De'Aaron Fox made his mark at Kentucky with his terrific on-ball defense. He puts a lot of pressure on you. Yeah, I mean, he picks up 94 feet, and that's really how you set the bar for your team with how hard you compete at the defensive end. Catching up on the changes for Oklahoma City. Merlin's Noel checks in for Adams. Patterson comes in for Grant, and it's Felton in for Russell Westbrook. He hits the second from the line. It felt like he was a little hesitant in the first half, but really he's amping himself up here and battering around to get himself to the free throw line. Schroeder kicks to George. Fox against Schroeder. Patterson a screen on Fox. Here's Schroeder, and Labissiere sends it back. Well, the reach of Labissiere making impact right there on defense, dependable with the shot blocking. It's just been an off night for him. That doesn't happen all that often, but the thing that you do at this point is not to push it, not to rush it. Let it come back to you. Pass to Patterson. Noel, a screen on Shumpert. Patterson passes to George. Shot clock at six. Grills the elbow jumper. George has got four points this quarter. And Paul George in the mid-range area just dominating that possession. And Shumper kicks to Bialica. Outside Shumper. Passes it to Fox. Shoots over Schroeder. Sacramento with a fresh shot clock. And the second chance becomes a dunk. We could feel over here. Yeah, GA such a good, aggressive play in the paint. Pass to George. And Aaron Fox gets the whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. Sacramento making a switch here. Randolph has checked in. On defense, Sacramento. High post try, and there's George. That's good on the assist by Noel. 
22 points for George. Moving it around, eight of their last 10 coming off assists. Fox kicks to Kufus. One thing I like about Adam Silver, he is always looking to break new ground, push the envelopes, and develop new areas of innovation. Well, always forward thinking, and, and of course, this league has always done that. Adam has found a, a new position in the league, having a, a chief innovation officer right. in place, somebody that's always examining not only how things are going in the league and maybe being adaptable to change, but examining what's going on worldwide. And you always see the way the league tinkers with and toys with summer league and the way the G League competition sets up in order to try to find more ways to make the game more enjoyable or more accessible to the fan base. And that one goes in, two from the line that time. Well, the Kings entering their second full campaign here without DeMarcus Cousins. Did they get equal value in, the, in that trade that they made? Probably not, but they have the flexibility and they've added to this roster with some young talent and see if they can make some combinations here work to escape the mediocrity that they're in. And Fox gets it to go. Fox has got nine points now in just the second half. Now De'Aaron Fox having one of those nights where he's feeling it. Felton against Shumpert. There's a screen by Noel. Here's Felton. That's tipped. Here's Bialica. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Felton kicks to George. 13 feet away. Drain for two points. Yeah, Paul George on the inside, comfortable knowing where he can get to, just tries to find a sliver of room in order to get that shot off. Fox, no good. Oklahoma City's gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Left side, George. From 10 feet out. Back to Schroeder. There's a screen by Noel. Five on the clock. And that's going to be too many steps. Gets the whistle on the travel. That's a bad miscue, but I think they've done a really good job keeping control of the ball throughout the game. Luwawu is checked in for Oklahoma City. Farrell's checked in for Sacramento. Shumper with it. Kicks it to Kufus. And Luwawu Cabrero is going to pick up the foul. That's his third foul so far. Bonus situation in effect, so we'll head to the free throw line for two. Two shots. Two shots. The free throw drops for Kufus. Well, the one thing the Kings have gotten right, Brent, is this new home arena. It is one of the best in the league. Well, on warm Sacramento nights, what's really cool about this place is they open it up. So you got the natural airflow. It sneaks in. It feels comfortable here. Something these fans can take a lot of pride in with what they've done in downtown Sacramento. Yeah, I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second despite being down. It's rebounded by Farrell and for Sacramento they're shooting a troubling 38% in the third. Not the finest work of this offense. To the left side wing. Stolen by George. And it's George finishing it off. Well once Paul George gets in that deep get out of the way he's coming right at you. Here's Farrell. Here's the screen. Randolph sets a screen for McLemore. And a kind roll that time off the rim as that one falls. I give some credit to the screen out there. That totally freed up the shooter to take advantage of that look. Outside, George. Patterson, the screen. Felton attacking. Back to Patterson. And it goes out of bounds. Nice touch by Felton. And here are the numbers for Farrell, how he performed last season. Last season put up about 10 points a game, three rebounds, and two assists. 
you know, year one, he was learning the ropes. I think he's hoping to make a much bigger impact in his second campaign. Absolutely. As a rookie, the game just goes incredibly fast. Sophomore year, things start to slow down. Here's Kufus. And the shot is long. Oklahoma City's gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Here's Luwawu. And George kicks to Luwawu Cabarro. That shot off. And Sacramento will go the other way with it. After this one, they're off to Denver to take on the Nuggets. That'll be the last game of their very short three-game road tour. Here's Farrell. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Farrell's got his first basket of the night. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. And the pass to George. 11 feet away. Pass to Luwawu. And Patterson kicks to Luwawu Cabarro. Lock at six. Patterson, the screen. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. Farrell for three. That misses. Would have counted had it gone in. Russell Westbrook has been leading the charge for Oklahoma City. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. We'll get right back to the action when we return. Let's take a listen to a recent huddle from Coach Billy Donovan. We've done a great job moving the ball. Let's keep the ball moving. Extra pass, attack, pass, and play, okay? Billy Donovan enjoying the activity his team is showing. The motion of his offense just wants to see more of it. Yeah, they're working together well. The, the key now is to try to do it consistently throughout the rest of this evening. And thanks again for joining us. Let's see what happens here in the fourth. They've got Noel. Felton is out there with Patrick Patterson. And it's Burton in at the three. That's the lineup out there for the Thunder. Nice shot by Felton. Failure to extend the defense not going to get you back in this game. Yeah, it's just a big mistake against a great shooter. It feels like they've just completely lost their focus. There's a good screen. Farrell kicks to McLemore. Tearaway warm-ups have long been a feature of the NBA, but last season, the new tearaway jerseys, they just kept ripping apart. Ah, the old uniform malfunction, Kevin, yes. last year. Yeah, maybe... You even had a couple malfunctions, and that was odd. Well, the, the, the tie? Bad yeah, tie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, always have yeah, bad ties. You know, uh, I, think they'll, I think they're looking back at Oof. the material choices for, for what they're doing, so maybe there'll be some subtle changes into this year. But it was interesting. In the early part of last year, a, a lot of guys with a, a finger underneath the arm and pulling away a jersey and, and ripped away. So maybe the supplier will, will do something about the fabric this year. LaBissier has checked in for Costa Cufas. This could get even more out of hand if they continue to put up points. Wow, Kevin, what a performance we are seeing. There's a screen by Noel. Here's Burton. And he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. And just enough wiggle room to get off his shot. Well, uh, tremendous focus with the bigger guy all over him. It speaks to the toughness he has down there. They set the screen. Here's Farrell. Shot off the screen. Abrinas with a rebound. Well, I like the shot selection. I don't like the shot result. Won't happen much. Felton. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. Farrell's got three rebounds now in this one. McLemore, no good. I'd just like to see the defensive effort get better for their ball club. They can't expect guys to miss the mid-range Jays every time. Here's Abrinas. It's rebounded by McLemore. Kings have gone one of four since the end of the third quarter. Passes to Farrell. 
and it's Noel with the rebound. Noel's got six rebounds in the game. Here's Abrinas. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. That one falls. Commending the unselfish play there. What vision on that pass. For Oklahoma City, they've gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. And here's Felton from the arc. No good on that one. And the Kings going the other way now. Here's Farrell. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Goes up at the stripe. Count it. And really, the defense didn't do a lot to fight around that screen on that possession. Oklahoma City's gone one or two from three-point range here timeout, in the fourth. Timeout. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. The Thunder went into free agency with a lot of question marks, but ended having a big summer. Able to retain Paul George, and that was the first and largest key. Getting a player like Noel for cheap was also a big help for this group. The Thunder were at a fork in the road last season, but this team now as dangerous as ever. Justin Jackson, he's checked in for Sacramento. Pass to Noel. And Labissiere sends it back. And like how aggressive Labissiere is on defense, using that wide frame to turn back shots. And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. He muscles it in through the contact, and they call the foul. And he's on his way to the free throw line. No clue how he got that one to fall. And the Kings will go for a different look here. Cauley Stein, he's checked in for Harry Giles. Bagley comes in for Labissiere. On a heel, he's checked in for McLemore, and it's Fox in for Farrell. Shooting one. Well, the Kings are certainly in full rebuild mode, adding to this roster with a bunch of young talent. Last season, the bottom three team in both offense and defense and a bottom four in rebounding. So plenty of room to make strides this year. Westbrook with the bucket. Well, he's got a baton in the right hand as he's orchestrating what's going on. A maestro, if you will. Jackson passes to Cauley Stein. Shoots over Adams. It's rebounded by Schroeder. And the Kings looking to develop their young players. Coach Yeager with a deep rotation. Well, last season, it was interesting. If you look at the minutes totals, there was no player that played more than 28 minutes a game. So multitude of players getting tons of opportunities. And they added some veterans in the locker room to try to help those guys along and provide some mentorship. Fox, no good. The Thunder shooting well, 50% from the floor. Down low, here's Westbrook, and the rejection by Cauley Stein. Westbrook kicks it over to Schroeder. They get it back, and it's out of bounds. Oklahoma City able to retain possession here. Here's what Oklahoma City's schedule is looking like. On Thursday, they'll be matching up with Al Horford and the Boston Celtics. Then on Sunday, they'll go up against Devin Booker and the Phoenix Suns. And looking at the Hornets matchup, that's going to be one where it would take a lot of errors and maybe a cold shooting night for things to go wrong. They just have that much of an advantage over that team. Grant against Jackson. Knocked away. And the dunk by Grant. Grant's always looking for those seams, so when he finds one, he'll rip right into it, like his aggressiveness there. For the Sacramento Kings, their last game a loss to New Orleans. They set the pick. Coley Stein, a screen. High post shot, and he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. And that's now 20 points for Buddy Heal. Westbrook kicks to Adams. Healed against Schroeder. Back to Adams. Outside Jackson. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. 
And Justin Jackson played his high school basketball at that powerhouse homeschool Christian Youth Association down there in Texas. He's homeschooled since the fourth grade, and he was in charge of his own studies and his own basketball development. I would say he did pretty well. No good on the free throw. And by all accounts, Brent Justin Jackson tremendously focused and diligent both in his studies and in working on his game. Well, so many teams looking at not only your success on the court, but what you do with your time off of it. And he's demonstrated that he's a self-starter, a self-motivated guy, and that serves him quite well. And he misses the second one as well, so he is 0 for 2 that time. Well, we know that Dr. James Naismith came up with the idea when he was teaching at the YMCA. But as far as skill development, Brent, some feel that maybe in the skill category that the USA has fallen behind a little bit. Do you agree? I, I think what the United States is doing on that level between your late grade school years and, and AAU programs in particular and your high school years, that they're trying to address this issue and get ahead of it a little bit. For years, there was a 10-year or 15-year gap about European players being schooled and being in institutions where they were basically young professionals from the age of 12 to 14, having school and basketball and, and being at a facility for just those things specifically. The last few years, there's been a lot of concern with players being more adept and more skilled here in the States. The change is coming. Here's Ferguson. That one drops for him. For Sacramento, they've gone 6 of 13. So just above 46% on their field goal attempts here in the quarter. Here's Shumpert. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Last season, not a great one for Shumpert. Missed time due to injury and saw his minutes drop. Now Shumpert, a uh, combo guard, has... Trouble with a, a defined role on a team. Not really a, a great shooter. Was known as a great defender. Injuries have taken a little bit of that away. He's got to plug back into that mentality and try to be a little bit more of an efficient offensive threat. Shooting two, gentlemen. Free throw. Good. Shumpert. We love the sneakers these players wear. Now so many different styles. A lot of different signature shoes out there. I'm not really a, a sneaker head myself, Kevin. I didn't really fall down that rabbit hole. But I know some guys in the league, and we've seen photos of their closets oh at home filled with hundreds, hundreds. Not hundreds. I've seen guys pushing thousands. Wow of pairs of shoes. Now that is dedication. It's worth a lot of money. No, oh, no doubt about it. And some of the guys, Kevin, donned those specialty sneakers in big time games. And the one guy that comes to mind for me is P.J. Tucker. Lots of play from P.J. Tucker about some of the things that he strapped on last year during the finals. Farrell kicks to Jackson. La Air up top. Outside jumper. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Well, Shumpert, an important piece to this basketball team. He comes in, he does a lot of things well, and accepts the defensive responsibility that is placed on him. Two shots. throw good. Amon Shumpert. Sacramento making a switch here. Kufus is checked in. And so he hits both. 
Around the world, Brent, we've seen the NBA take a role in helping youngsters learn to play the game of basketball the right way. So incredible what Basketball Without Borders has done with uh, the NBA Junior program expanding itself. Last year in Treviso for the first time, the NBA doing a, a combine for EuroLeague players so they can start a database of, of the older professional, younger professional players playing overseas. It's a global game. Adam Silver is doing a remarkable job of promoting the game, and we're in a great place, Kevin. Farrell gets the bucket. And he has starting to turn it on now after that slow start. The Thunder leading by 23. Right side, Westbrook. It's rebounded by Farrell. Farrell's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Shumper gets a wide open look. Nails the wide open jump shot. Shumpert's got six in the quarter. Coaching staff high-fiving themselves there, watching that team move the ball around, doing whatever is best for the team. Baseline J on the way, and it's Sacramento with the rebound. Kufus has got his third rebound on the night. Shumpert passes to Farrell. Back to Shumpert. Five to shoot. They set the pick. And out of bounds as the Thunder gain possession. A different look for Oklahoma City. Grant, he's checked in for Patterson. Paul George comes in for Terrence Ferguson. And Luwawu subbed in for Diallo. A big group substitution here for Sacramento. Willie Cauley Stein, he's checked in for Koufos. Bagley comes in for LeBissier. Heald's checked in for Shumper. And De'Aaron Fox subbed in for Yogi Ferrell. George against Jackson. George, no good. The Kings trail by 21. On the wing, heel. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Luwawu Cabrero kicks to Westbrook. 158 left in the fourth quarter. And that one drops. Again, using his frame and size right there, Westbrook, one of the strongest finishers we have in the game. Westbrook against Fox. He got right to the cup using that screen. Fox has got 13 points here in the second half alone. Oklahoma City leading by 21. Westbrook passes to George. Down low, here's Grant. That falls, nice speed that time from George. And Grant at 6'9", using that length right there, a nice soft touch in close to the rim. Fox against Westbrook. Fox kicks to Bagley. Sinks the three-pointer. And so it's going to end up in the record books Three. as a blowout, a dominating performance for the Thunder. As one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in there about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And so with this, they'll end up with their second win on the year. And they'll take the win tonight, setting the tone in the first matchup of this four-game season series. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for George. Just active on defense, little things like clawing and scrapping and tipping passes and contesting shots. Came up with a lot of steals. Here's Westbrook. The rebound by Heal. Yeah, bad shot there. Trust is lacking. You, you got to be willing to make the extra pass. Yep, just too anxious to try and make something happen out there. This is about the team, not about you. Well, Justin Jackson at six foot eight has a nice skill level and a nice natural feel to the game. He, he doesn't stop the ball and he gets his points pretty much in the flow of the offense. And he makes the first. A different look for Oklahoma City. Merlin's Noel checks in for Adams. Patterson comes in for George. And it's Felton in for Russell Westbrook. And then for Sacramento, 
Kufus checked in for Willie Cauley Stein. Labissiere comes in for Bagley, and it's Bialica in for Buddy Heal. Jackson hits both of them. Here's Felton. We've got a nine second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Now the pass to Luau. To the right side. Grant gets a wide open look. Rebound by Bialica. Outside Jackson. Dishes it to Fox. And Belyita has it in the corner. Shoots over Grant. So no problem for Oklahoma City as they get the win. And the outcome of this one was never in doubt. And boy, they really put in a supreme effort. Uh, it just felt like once they had that lead and it was comfortable, they were not going to relinquish it. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Paul. Congrats on the win. Where is your team's attitude right now? We continue to, you know, play together. And we can just stick to that, keep working, staying confident, keep defending, um, and knocking shots down. We'll be all right. Looked like it all came together tonight, Paul. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, great job. Thanks so much. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. So long.